¿Qué tal amigos? Una nueva edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Esta semana tenemos un show muy, muy especial porque hemos ido hasta Brasil con eh, Volkswagen, con la Fundación Volkswagen de Brasil eh, en un previo eh, sobre el Mundial de Fútbol eh, dos, Brasil 2014 y aunque Volkswagen no tiene una participación directa en el Mundial en cuanto al patrocinio oficial de, del Mundial como tal, sí tiene seis equipos a los que representa incluyendo a la selección de Brasil, la anfitriona del Mundial 2014. Y bueno, es eh, un poco curioso si nos vamos al término del fútbol, porque una compañía alemana ayudando a su rival en el Mundial de Fútbol. Pero bueno, en el mundo global que vivimos ahora, así son las cosas. Así que vamos a tener varias entrevistas, empezando con el director de la Fundación Volkswagen y los programas que hacen para el desarrollo social en Brasil. Así que empezamos con las entrevistas de este viaje espectacular que hicimos con el grupo Volkswagen a Brasil. Uh, Mr. Barros, thank you very much. Oh, muito obrigado. <laughs> De nada. For having us here in uh, Brazil for Volkswagen. Brazil, a huge country with a lot of potential. Volkswagen, a huge company with a lot of uh, things in, the, in, the, in, the, in around the world. So tell us a little bit about uh, Brazil, uh, Volkswagen in Brazil, please. Well, uh, Volkswagen in Brazil is uh, here since uh, the last 60 years. Volkswagen uh, started working uh, in Brazil in 1953 and became uh, today the biggest uh, automaker uh, in Brazil. Uh, we are <coughs> the biggest in the exports and the second one in the market share in Brazilian yeah. cars. So you, uh, you build cars here, you have four plants here in Brazil? We have four plants, three plants for building cars and one plant for building engines. Yeah, and uh, which cars uh, do you export to South America mainly? No, or we export else? mainly to South America and Mexico. We export to Mexico, they the have a group. huge plant in Mexico, Volkswagen uh, in Mexico. We, have, we export popular cars to Mexico. Oh, Mexico okay. makes assemblies, uh, cars of a not entry level, in the levels of yeah, the uh, Beetle, the Beetle, Jetta, and Jetta, now the Golf, etc. Now the and Golf, Golf etc. And the popular cars, is, which is the Go oh, here in Brazil, you. I think is the pointer in, in Mexico. Yeah. So we export to them and we have a, a, an agreement from between the governments to export and also South America. The, you, you used to export the Fox to the United States and I know, no. I know no. because when I got to the United States in 1989 I didn't have a car and I needed a car and a friend of mine helped me and we went and I bought a Volkswagen Fox made in the USA, in, in Brazil. Yeah, the name of, of this vehicle was uh, Volkswagen Fox, but in fact this car is our goal uh, sedan at that time. Oh, okay. Then the, ga the, the game uh, gained the name of Fox. Yeah. Today we have another Fox, which is a completely new car, Different kind. with the name Fox, and we exported this vehicle to Germany. To US, the uh, North American region market, we exported from during two or three years the Golf. Okay. When it was the Generation 5. Yeah, Today yeah. we have a Generation 7. We do not uh, export anymore. We are going to start to produce, start producing this car uh, next year. And uh, we no longer uh, export to US. But in the past, we used to export this Fox, as you mentioned. It's a small my, car. My first car in the United States. <laughs> uh, a small car, very good car, and yeah. uh, and, uh, and uh, later the, the Golf. So, Mr. Barros, we're in Sao Paulo, uh, the biggest city in Brazil and one of the biggest cities in the world. Uh, we see a lot of traffic here. I mean, like, and, and that's some of the areas that Volkswagen is also concerned about, right? I mean, like, what's a challenge in that sense for a, a car manufacturer in a city mm -hmm. like this? And there's other cities like Mexico City, Tokyo, Tokyo, uh, Los Angeles, New York. Yeah. Uh, the major idea is that, uh, first of all, we have to reduce strongly the em emission of uh, gases. Uh, this is good because uh, in order to avoid pollution. Second one is to reduce strongly the consumption of fuel. Yeah. And also to produce good quality and safe cars small ones in order to be easy to manage it in big cities like Sao Paulo. It's what exactly what we are doing. Now we are producing the up is a very small car, mm -hmm. very high quality 
the best standard for safety, uh, low consumption of fuel, and low emission of gases. Yeah, this is a, one of the examples. It was the World Car of the Year award uh, in New York Auto Show two years exactly. ago, I believe. Exactly. But still, I mean, like, if you put too many ops on the streets of Sao Paulo, the traffic is going to be, I mean, like, what, what are the, the solutions? Uh, is there any? Uh, I mean, uh, in fact, the, the government should be concerned about the public transportation. Yeah. A city like Sao Paulo should be more uh, should have more uh, uh, subway stations, uh, subway mm -hmm. lines. We have already, but it's not enough, and the cost is very big. But uh, the government is doing this uh, uh, strongly. Uh, the other issue is to increase the quality of buses, no? transportation in, in the streets. But uh, the factory, the f uh, automotive factory, what Volkswagen did uh, recently is to develop a bike, a small bike, where you can mm, drive your car to a place and close to the to the, your office or to uh, your, the place you have a meeting, etc. You can use a bike yeah. to go there if you are in downtown, etc., etc. Yeah, but, and, uh, mm. and in the, within the Volkswagen Group, you have two extremes of that example because you have like Scania, like the big, big bosses, so you can probably contribute and put those two together, so some kind of solutions. But I, I want to touch a little bit more about um, the, the other work that you do here in Brazil, that foundation. You do like pretty amazing programs in yeah. very difficult circumstances here. Yes, really, in really very difficult circumstances we are also responsible for the Volkswagen Foundation. Volkswagen Foundation has two main pillars. Social pillar where we develop uh, programs to help people. One of the problems is in the future is we teach women that are the chief of the, the house to, to sue and utilizing uh, the, 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 the rests of the uniforms of the employees and uh, the, the fabrics of the seats, etc., that have are not uh, no longer be utilized, and we recycle uh, recycle this and give to them to to sue, and they are developing creating new products, cre creating new products for them. Another program is the Instituto Bacarelli is a is a institute of music that was introduced in a in a favela in the in São Paulo. And they teach music to those people, and we are supporting them in the last 12 years. Uh, in the education program, we have programs special to develop the, the teaching of, uh, of uh, the language in this country, and uh, also uh, the uh, learn, learning in general with the process of uh, we call to speed up the learnership with a special program to, to replace adequately the students that have missed some years in order to join the adequate level of age and uh, uh, degree of the school. Yeah, and also Volkswagen, um, I mean, I mean Brazil, uh, Volkswagen in Brazil, it's a big contributor to the company. I mean, I understand that you sell almost the same amount of cars in Brazil that Volkswagen sells in Germany? Yes, it's well, true. Yeah. Well, it's a much bigger country too. <laughs> yes, uh, Brazil. We, we are the third market of Volkswagen in the world. Naturally, the first one is China. Yeah. Second one is Germany and, and Brazil. I think two years ago we sold more cars in Brazil than VW sold cars in Germany. Unfortunately, this year we are not able to beat them, but we are always disputing this bronze medal. <laughs> a good, it's a good, uh, a good competition. <laughs> it's a good competition. Yeah. So, um, uh, Brazil also, like, we're here uh, for one reason, for Volkswagen, but also, like, the closest of the World Cup. A big two events coming up to Brazil. The World Cup now, and then the Olympics in two years in Rio de Janeiro. How is the involvement of Volkswagen in that? Uh, Volkswagen, uh, first of all, Volkswagen sponsors the Brazilian uh, uh, Confederation of Football. We are on one of them. We are not the biggest one, but we are sponsoring this. Volkswagen has tradition to sponsor the, the football in general because we we are uh, in, in the presence of the media. Yeah, we don't uh, uh, we don't sponsor any team specifically because in Brazil 
it's complicated to be connected to one team. We have uh, many teams, many teams so yeah. it's complicated. But Volkswagen supports the football and supports um, this event. And um, we hope to have a very good event here in this country. So uh, you're Brazilian, you'll be working for a German company for 35 years. Where's your heart for the World Cup? <laughs> my, my heart is, is, is Brazil, <laughs> no doubt about it. Yeah. Uh, but Germany has a pretty good team this year too. I think so. I think the best, the, the four best teams today are, besides Brazil, Germany, Argentina and, uh, and uh, Spain. Spain, yeah. With a good chance, in my opinion, to to probably Belgium, second level, I don't know, Uruguay, how to be, Brazil, Mexico, I don't know. Normally, Mexico is a problem for Brazil, but not in the World Cup. In other, in other uh, tournaments, uh, they create problems, like <laughs> well, the, <important> Olympics. <laughs> the Olympics, we lost from to Mexico. Yeah. But uh, in, normally, in, in the World Cup, I think Brazil played with uh, Mexico in 1962, we won 2-0. In Chile. In Chile, we won 2-0. And I n I'm not sure if we played again with Mexico after in, in that. The well, I don't, I we'll, think we'll, I don't see, think we'll so. see very soon, because they're going to play in the first round. So, yeah. uh, Eduardo Barros here from the head of the legal office and sustainability programs foundation for Postbank here in uh, Brazil. Is there a web page where uh, people can learn more about what uh, you do here in Brazil? Uh, my page, no, but, no, but uh, we Volkswagen? have uh, Volkswagen, yes, Volkswagen Foundation or Volkswagen in Brazil. We have Volkswagen in Brazil. I think it's www.fundação, fundacal, vw. Dot com dot br. Br. Well, we're gonna post it on a web page so people can find out about it because these are very. Uh, important and impressive progress you do here in Brazil. Thank you very much for your time and for having us here in Brazil. My pleasure, and I uh, hope to uh, I hope you to enjoy your stay here. Muito obrigado. De nada. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.